Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskara, back again with you creating quick learning management system with Laravel. First, I want to thank two guys. I've, I've received two comments yesterday on videos. It's from Dennis and from Willem. Basically about the same thing, that I'm not uh, putting the code in the correct place. So uh, I do some queries in views and uh, I don't create separate controller or entity for payments, which kind of violates the, the whole architecture thing of MVC. And I'm doing that for a reason because I'm trying to hurry to make videos as short as possible, like for 10 to 15 minutes. So I do cut corners here and there. And I'm thinking the last lesson before putting it on GitHub will be refactoring of all of that. So bear with me for a couple more lessons. Uh, I might not introduce the best practices here for a while uh, just to, to launch the project, just to make it work. And then we'll refactor things here and there to, to make it actually look uh, correct or more, uh, more architectural. Today's topic is tests and uh, questions and options. So for every lesson, there should be a test. That's my vision. There might be not a test, there no test for some lesson, but uh, I hope there will be for, for every lesson. So for that, we already have a structure in place for the database. So we have questions have question options, like for every every question that will be uh, chosen from the options, and there are question tests, so we can allow uh, assign questions to the tests, and we can assign tests to the course or to the lesson. So first we need to do the seeding for the questions and options, and then we, we can assign assign them. So to test it all, we, we take care of the seeds first. So let's make cedar questions cedar or question seeds it is it's question seed yeah sorry question oh. it's probably launching composer dump out a lot behind the scenes. Okay, question seed. Good. So we have our seed file. We'll probably copy the the code from here. From core seed. So for now, it's a program by wishful thinking, as Adam Wathen says. So we assume that the code exists, that the factory exists. So factory question class no, question. Mm. I don't like that. I, I prefer to get it up here. So for every question, we will have like actually 50 questions in total. Uh, for each question, we will have question options, save many, question. I think it is class again. Mm -hmm. Question option create. Okay, so we do that. Uh, next, what we need to do is actually create the factories. Mm -hmm. This query wait questions questions option. Right, uh, and then create factories here. First, let's check if the question does have options. No, it doesn't. Options. As many questions option. Good. Uh, I think it will be question ID, but I don't have to provide the parameter. Okay, that's better. Question options. Okay, what else? Um, yeah, let's create factories here. So we we'll take the example of lesson factory, we we'll save that as question factory. So question factory, define 
question as faker and what do we need for the question? We actually need question, image and score and from what I remember score is defaulted to one. No, that's only visually defaulted to one but yeah let's let's put it this way question is yeah faker text 50 with question mark then question image let's skip it for now we don't need images score should be default to one so one point per each question by default okay and uh, yeah that's it we don't need anything else here right so we are ready with question factory <clears throat> and then then and then the questions option factory okay so let's and questions option factory right and for questions option this little a little bit more complicated so we need to have question ID although to be honest we will assign that a little later I will show you how uh, so question options will have question ID option text let it be the same 50 characters and correct or not random 0 or 1 there might be a few correct answers um, and that's it basically so that's questions option factory and now what we can do here question options save many yeah that's the thing uh, since we're assigning save many to the question question ID should be automatically uh, automatically assigned uh, I guess that's it we just try to run it BB seed class questions seed well, I should probably run composer dump out a lot but so what error will we have now no errors seriously great right let's go to our database questions content and what do you know we have 50 questions with a dot at the end did I put the dot at the end um, no but yeah let's let's leave it this way and for options we have 10 options per question that's a little too much I guess I will of course let's have four options for each question and let's reseed these ones so delete rows here and delete rows here and we should have 50 questions with 200 options in total four per question refresh yep we have 15 new questions and 200 rows in total for options right and what else we need we need tests now so we need tests to assign to the um, to the lessons and for that we will probably use lesson factory uh, not lesson factory lesson seed in fact course seed so for every lesson we will save many lessons and for every for of course we'll save many lessons and for every lesson we will save one test for that we use the same approach as here each function lesson um, and we have kind of an exception I hope it works I, I'm not sure yet but uh, we will have lesson tests save and factory test class one create I think since it's save and not save many we have factory without that and we need to add use app test here and I can remove this one 
Right, so for that we need to take care of a lesson as a test. Test. Actually, let's put it has one. Not has many, but has one. And test. Okay, and it won't be a test, it will be test, right? Save factory test class, so we need to have a factory for the test, right? So let's save this one as test factory. And for test factory, what fields we need? Actually, that's it. Title description published or not. Title will be this one. Description is probably nullable, so so not so relevant. And then published equals one. Um, and then we need to change this one. Right, okay, so have test factory and core seed, and let's <coughs> refresh our whole database. So migrate refresh. Migrate refresh with seeds. And let's see if we have any errors. <coughs> no errors. So maybe the tests are actually published. Content, refresh. And yes, we have a test for every lesson with nullable description and with published equals one. So course ID equals zero and we have, I think we have 50 lessons by default. That's 50 lessons, so 50 tests. Great. And finally, what we need here is to attach questions to the tests. That's a little more tricky. To assign the question to the test, we need to use our many-to-many -many relationship. So every question belongs to the test or not we have a pivot table for that so question test actually i think we can we can copy and paste that from test so there should be belongs to many here yep so have belongs to many questions but need but we need to have the other way around so tests belongs to many test class table question test with trashed um, we'll be trash here. All uh, right. Uh, okay. Okay. Should be okay. Yep. Um, and then in the seed file, first let's add question seed to the to the database seeder to the main seeder. Question seed. Question seed. Right, okay, question seed. Um, so for every question, we need to assign the many-to-many -many relationship. I already have that here. So every question might have more than one test. And let's assign question tests. Um, attach test ID. And since we already have the tests here in... Um, in course seed here, uh, we already have how many tests? I'm thinking for every lesson we have one test, so 50 lessons, 50 tests. We can safely put random, random 1 to 50 here. And let's launch our seeder. I was experimenting here a little bit. So question seed, and we have Question test entries for yeah, various random tests for every question. Right, so for for this time we will have data to play with. Now I'm quickly approaching the 15 minute mark for the video, so the last thing I wanna do in this video is actually to use everything that we've worked today on. Uh, so the seeding data we will actually view them here view the test for the lesson so if we go to lesson blade uh, if lesson has a test 
And then we have a, let's put it this way, test title, H3, test like this, uh, and then for each question, for each lesson test questions, test question, and for each right, it will be loop iteration dot question question text from what I remember and this and then for each question options as option again and for each we'll add a radio button radio with name question underscore for example underscore question ID and option option text and yeah and at the end of all of that submit submit results and of course all of that should be a form form action this for now we will we will take care of the results of the test in the next video all right something like that i hope all those relationships will will be loaded automatically if not we will add them soon yeah as i expected undefined variable test so lesson here if we go to lesson public function test Lessons controller. Lesson first or fail, so we need to add with here. With test questions options. Still the same. Still wrong. What? Oh, test type, of course. Uh, lesson test title. Here. So I didn't even need those relationship probably. Of course, see. Uh, let's remove with here. That should probably still work. Yes, it does work. Uh, yes, we have one question for this lesson. Let's get the other. No questions here. One question here. And two questions here. Good. Uh, the only thing we're missing here is question text is missing, so it's probably another variable question, just question, okay. So question, refresh, and now we have our questions. Let's put the bold here so we would know that it's a question. Yep. Um, Final thing, probably which question? Another line. Good. So now we have lessons with our tests, and in the next video, we will actually solve the tests and save the results in the database and also save the progress of the student uh, within the course. See you in the next videos.